So a little while ago, I made this theory and said that if ETH were to pump, you know, were to do some crazy gains in the matter of a day or a couple of days, or, you know, over a short period of time, that the NFTs that live on Ethereum would essentially, maybe not plummet, but would definitely lose value in ETH. Uh, now, today is October 6th, 2021, and Ethereum is currently up about 7% on the daily, uh, roughly around $3,600. And the reason why I'm making this video is today, is today is because it seems like this theory may actually be coming true. Now, over the past couple of days, uh, if you've been involved in the NFT space, you've known that there has been quite a number of projects that have been pumping. I'm really honestly over the past couple of months, but you know, specifically this past week or so, uh, the crypto the crypto toads have been mooning like crazy. The floor and that was like 14 ETH yesterday. Um, and some sales were going for 80, 100 something ETH. Uh, you had some of the uh, bears deluxe, which, oh my Lord, I had, I literally had the opportunity to get into at about 0 0.01 ETH. Um, but now they're at four and I never got in. <laughs> uh, and uh, the Cool Cats as well had a floor of about 12. A whole bunch of different projects uh, pretty much are mooning. Um, or, oh, we're mooning uh, up until about yesterday, which is when ETH started to pump. Not to say that they're dumping now, but they are taking a little bit of a of a dip, essentially. And now, and that now there are some people on Twitter, I think one of them was Tommy from uh, Nifty... Uh, Nifty something, <laughs> I can't even forget the name of it, uh, but the one owned by uh, Gemini, um, I, I honestly, I don't use it, so I, I don't know the name, but he was mentioning on Twitter today that pretty much, you know, he doesn't like to see that the noobs that, that bought into the NFTs are now dumping their, <laughs> dumping their NFTs to get gains in ETH, because at the end of the day, uh, most of these people don't really care about the art, they don't care about the NFTs, they just want to make as much money as possible and ride whatever wave is currently going up that day. So. It's funny that he mentioned that because I'm like, yeah, that's pretty much what I said would happen. <laughs> um, now, this isn't me gloating, saying, oh, I'm, I'm right and all that stuff, because usually I'm wrong. Um, but I, I kind of just wanted to reflect on it a little bit uh, because, you know, I do think the NFT space is here to stay. I mean, you have Axie Infinity as part of like the gaming section of NFTs. You have these different collection projects as part of like really the community side of crypto and NFTs kind of combining. Um, and of course, some of the art side, like where you have like some people literally just making um, their art and posting it on to OpenSea or even uh, actually pictures like the one like the Twin Flames project that, just, that that one is going nuts right now actually so that may be the only outlier <laughs> to be honest with you um, but you know I really wanted to bring this up because I don't feel like it's just noobs that are you know dumping their NFTs for ETH I think at the end of the day a lot of people who are in to a lot of the NFTs, especially within crypto Twitter, I should I should definitely clarify that a lot of the people who are into NFTs on crypto Twitter um, are big ETH fans. And if you're like me, at the end of the day, you want to make sure stacking away. Um, I've been of the I've been of the thought process that like uh, crypto punks um, were the only solid NFT to actually get into that you know at the end of the day is just going to go up in price over time. Like you know, like almost 100%. If anything is going to succeed, it's going to be the crypto punks. Um, the only other project I think I felt that kind of, uh, I guess, may hold some sort of similar value uh, are the apes because the community is nuts. Like, it's funny, the crypto punks don't really have a community per se. It's just kind of like the blue chip NFT. Um, the apes has a crazy strong community and that's why the floor for them is like 40 ETH right now. Um, down from an all time high of about 50 something, but still pretty high. <laughs> 40 ETH is a lot of money. Um, and you know, that kind of brings us to now, I mean, like money, I, I, at the end of the day, these NFTs, although we, although we price NFTs on ETH, which is what I always do. And really like, e even to this day, like I, every time I buy an NFT for the most part, I'm pricing it in ETH. You know, I, I'm not really looking at the USD value because at the end of the day, like I'm not taking my money out of the bank and putting it into here, you know? So to me, it's, it's ETH price. Um, you know, once things start to kind of settle down, once ETH starts to pump, that's when you start thinking again, okay, how much is ETH worth? One ETH is one ETH technically, but one ETH is also $3,600 and climbing. So, you know, the smart thing to do is to, if you are up a lot, if most of your portfolio value is in NFTs, um, you know, like an, an, an abhorrent amount, then, you know, some people would say it'd probably be smart to sell some of that for ETH. I'm not saying to do that. Uh, in your case, obviously for each person, it depends. But for my case, you know, um, I, I, th I think it's that's kind of the truth. You know, like um, after I got that CryptoPunk the other day, you know, 
uh, a, an abnormal amount of my portfolio was kind of comprised of that punk. So, you know, that's kind of why I'm making this video today. I kind of just want to give you guys my thoughts on where I'm at with the NFTs, uh, ETH price and all that stuff. I do think ETH, this again, this is my kind of prediction, so to speak. Um, I do think that ETH probably will continue to climb these next month or two, this next month or two, uh, you know, just because of you know, the, the network effects. I mean, the ETH network has been getting so much attention that these past couple months, and in all honesty, it hasn't really been kind of proportionally been priced in with that attention. Uh, at least from what I've seen, you know, ETH, ETH hit a high like 4,400 a couple months ago, and ever since then has been kind of like slumping and going up and down. The same with Bitcoin, really. But I think the coins are kind of coming back, so that's why I'm starting to try to kind of ease my way back into ETH holdings. Um, and as for NFTs, I, I I do still have like you can literally check my wallet, bfresh.eth, and see what NFTs that I have. Um, I do still hold most of my most of my NFTs, but like. My main thing with the NFTs is that like, as much as I like some of them, like unless I really like the, the art behind one of them and assuming they're not too expensive, I'm really just gonna try to flip it at the end of the day. You know what I mean? Like, unfor I mean, fortunately or unfortunately, depending on which community you're a part of, uh, that's just kind of my mindset where I'm at. Like I, I'm from the 2017 days of where the number one thing was you cannot fall in love with a project. That's the number one thing. And the problem with the NFT space is that's exactly what's happening. And that's why these NFTs are rising up in value so much is that it's like, this is kind of like the ICO days, but the difference is that instead of looking at a coin and a number, which doesn't uh, prescribe that much emotional value out of you, you're looking at like an image of like a cute cat <laughs> or something like that, right? And you're like, oh, I love this thing. I'm never going to sell it. You know what I mean? And then on top of that, you have a community full of other people with cute cats and they're all compounding uh, uh, with each other. So it's kind of, it, it's it's almost a little vicious, you know? It, and I say vicious if it's like you really don't understand what, what, what's truly happening. Yes, a lot of this community, but at the end of the day, it's mostly driven by money, which, you know, if a project goes down in price and that's where most of your holdings were, you're probably not going to feel that good about that community or project anymore. You know, it is what it is. So what I would say at the end of the day, and I say this to everybody, you know, be selfish, think for yourself. Um, as much as, as big as communities can be, um, and as helpful as communities can be, I, and I, I do think they're very important. I do think that, you know, your personal financial situation or your personal a crypto situation is more important than the ones around you at the end of the day, you know, your individual's self, uh, cause you can't, you know, be a good participant in a community if you're not a good participant for yourself. Is that a good one? I don't know. I don't know. This video kind of turned into something else, but you know, that's pretty much what I'm doing. I'm trying to stack as much ETH as possible. Uh, I do have some NFTs, like I said. I'm gonna hold on to some of them. I'm probably gonna keep one ape at least, uh, a mutant ape in that case, because that community is nuts. Like that one is nuts. Like like I said. Um, and yeah, let me know what you guys are doing down below. I kind of just wanted to get on here and kind of give you guys a little uh, and just talk with you guys today. Um, you know, what are you guys doing with your NFTs? Are you selling them? Are you keeping them? And what projects are you actually looking at? Because I will still be looking at projects, but I'm not trying to hold my, my entire bag in an NFT. I, I honestly, I don't feel good about doing that. Um, but anyways, that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.